Hi, welcome to Schulte Sweetie's YouTube channel. My name is Stephanie and I'm a mom of three girls ages 12, 8, and 6. This is our seventh year homeschooling and today is a collaboration that I'm hosting with other moms. Um, we are all talking about grandparents and the role that they play in homeschooling. Um, check out the playlist down below but we know that grandparents and homeschooling this is going to be kind of a broad range you might be a grandparent yourself homeschooling your grandchild or um, maybe grandparents aren't even in the picture whether they have passed away or are living far away um, so it could be other people that play and influence your children. Um, we are doing this collaboration because it's Grandparents Day coming up this weekend and I thought it would be um, just a fun time to talk about and honor the grandparents in our lives. Um, growing up, I was in public school and we always celebrated Grandparents Day by having like grandparents come into the schools and my grandparents lived the closest ones lived an hour away and the furthest ones lived up in Michigan and that was like five or six hours away from me. So I never really lived close to any of my grandparents growing up. And so what would happen is the people of our church, like the older um, people that I got close to were kind of like my adopted grandparents. They would come and do the grandparent activities. Um, I even had at my wedding, I had my adopted grandparents come and be my grandparents at my wedding um, because I didn't have, I no longer had any grandparents when I got married. So um, sometimes those special people that just are pouring into your kids' lives can be like grandparents and um, can be beneficial for them. So uh, some of the things that I was thinking of when I was getting ready to do this video is, um, when we are with the grandparents, so we, uh, my dad has now passed away. So um, he was always so involved in um, helping the kids and just, he would, he would go grocery shopping with us and go out to eat or just go to the zoo and different things. We would go on little field trips together. Um, but he was only alive for about a year after that, after we made the decision to homeschool. So he only got to really kind of be involved that year. Um, he was kind of sick and stuff, so he didn't really get to do a lot. He did help me. Um, I broke my ankle and he helped take my girls to co-op and kind of helped out here and there when he could. But um, he didn't really get to do a whole lot as we were homeschooling, but he was always involved. Um, but as I think about uh, my mom and then my in-laws, um, whenever my girls are with them, I want them to not be doing book work. Um, if there's anything that I learned with my dad was that I need to just make all the opportunities to make memories for my kids and their grandparents. Um, I don't want it to be bogged down with them. Oh, I need to do my schoolwork. I didn't get my math work done. So I need to do that. Um, it's not an everyday thing that they're with their grandparents usually, but, um, I want them to be making those memories and want the grandparents to be involved and helping enrich their homeschool. Um, I know for my mom, she loves baking. <laughs> um, and sometimes we end up with like lots of different desserts with um, that the girls bring home. But I do not have the patience to do baking and cooking a lot of times <laughs> with my kids. And so my mom just loves it and she will like, bring out a brownie mix like every time they're over usually. So, and like they sometimes like get um, recipe books and will like send them to my mom like different pictures of the, of the recipes that they wanna do. And so she gets all the ingredients and makes those things for them. So um, I'm really thankful she does that. She is also one that will typically watch my kids um, if I have an appointment because a stay at home mom um, and it's just hard when, it, like my husband works from home, but he has to be doing his job on, on the school days. So um, a lot of times my mom is available to help or my in-laws are also willing to help. So my mom will also take my youngest to story time on Tuesday afternoons. Um, this has kind of been her special time that she does that. And then it gives me time with my older two to do like 
some extra schoolwork or play games together that they don't typically get to play with their younger sister. So um, it's a lot of fun that she has that special weekly time to do that. She started that last year. Um, as far as my in-laws go, um, they live about a half an hour away. My mother-in-law just retired. And so um, we've been talking about, she is great at sewing. She makes the girls different things here and there. So she is going to schedule a sewing class for each of my girls. My oldest has learned how to sew, but my younger two have not had the chance. And I am not good at sewing. So I just know some basics. Um, but I'm excited that they'll have that opportunity. Um, my in-laws also go on like camping trips a lot with us. And so those always usually include like hiking and, um, some kind of like being at a Creek or, um, go-karting and nature stuff. And so, um, they kind of get involved in those type of ways. And my father-in-law has taken my girls fishing and at their house, they have like four wheelers and they have some land and woods and creeks. And so um, they just love going over there and playing outside at their house. So I have learned that, um, yeah, we do have schoolwork. Yeah, we have life events and different things going on, but um, it is so important to make those special times and those memories with the grandparents because um, you won't always have that. And so, um, any chance that we can get for the girls to make memories with their grandparents, I want to make those memories. So I hope that this was helpful and don't forget to check out the playlist down below and like and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.